you're a woman, you're in, in the data business, do you feel left out? Do you feel discriminated against? I think not. I think, um, first of all, uh, Systemic Logic Group is a digital innovation uh, company and our focus area is actually data, uh, data, digital and innovation. And with a recent acquisition of uh, Kahiso Trust um, a Data a Knowledge Factory that also uh, puts me f f in the front foot in terms of the playing field around data. Yeah. And you talk about data and everybody always says, what is data? Data today is actually the new liquid gold. Everything we do is about data. What you're calling uh, it. I, I, I love calling it that, and most people are. And the reason for that, if you look at yourself or I in any transaction, I can uh, collect information about Godfrey, and very soon, uh, whether it's a financial services company, a bank, yeah. or even a marketing company, could gather information that creates predictive analytics that says, actually, you like to buy pink ties. Right. <laughs> 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 like to buy pink ties. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell my wife about <laughs> that one. <laughs> So you are saying you in the thick of it and you are seeing its practical applications. Is the country adopting data fast enough? Because I remember reading the other day a suggestion being made that if South Africa were to fully adopt data as has been done in other parts of the world, this could be transformative. Uh, the opportunity is huge. So if you look at... Uh, which means which we're not doing we're enough. Not, we're not doing enough, but uh, we've got... Um, and that's why uh, companies like myself exist, so they're right. there they particularly. Because if you look at the, some of the data assets that we're sitting with at the moment in the company, yeah. include all the data in the property um, um, market. So all the deeds data, uh, data around patterns, around buying patterns for houses right. and mortgages. So if you look at that information, for example, banks yeah. have used that before. If you look at as a country and we talk about housing, that data is important because you can take information such as that yeah. and create geocoding systems, which we do. What and is are that? Able uh, where geolocation, your GPS, so geocoding oh, is to no, call. So now me and track finding out where, where I am when where I don't stay, want to be or your address, or your address. So one of the challenges okay. in financial services, uh, for example, in, in, in introducing new products, is the issue of contactability, of access to the market, access to the customers. Yeah. And it's an African problem. It's a global problem. It's not just a South African problem. Sure. Now imagine being able to geocode and not really say that actually Godfrey or Audrey live around the corner behind the tree and behind the house there. So suddenly you're using information and data to locate a specific individuals and, and, and up urban planning, town planning, yeah. financial planning. Uh, the, the development period yeah. of our infrastructure changes yeah. when you start using raw data and, 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 and incorporating that in decisions we're making. So, so, so that's raising two questions in my head. Number one, the issue of what sort of data we're talking about here. Yes. Is it personal? Is this uh, just data about the economic activity of people? Or is it data about our assets and whatever we're doing in the economy, et cetera, et cetera? And then the other question that it raises in my head is, of course, the issue of my personal information. It's nothing new. It's been known all around. So as we build these data banks that are critical to the things that you're talking about, how do we ensure the two are protected? The regulations around the person. So first and foremost, you, you need to actually own and secure information. But there's regulation around it, and sometimes even us as individuals don't realize that we're giving out uh, the rights to our data. So you fill out a form applying for either a pro product or a, a, a house, or uh, all the forms that you fill in, there's always a little box that says, are you open to receiving more information, yes or no? So that's consenting in providing but that then information. But there's that bit of the questions that we never quite see, isn't it? You know, the, the, the little things that they put underneath that we don't quite get to. And then you realize, without realizing, that you actually have signed up. And I've, we've seen this numerous times. I can give you the example of mobile phone companies that make you uh, subscribe to something that you have not quite agreed to. Suddenly you find money is coming out of your account. This yeah. is part of what but we're talking no about, isn't yes, it? Yes and no. Uh, so data, so if I p paint a different picture. So if we were not able to collect all the information, all the data, some of the developments, you've started off by talking about the fourth industrial re revolution. Mm -hmm. So basic information like all of us have cell mobile cell phones. Yeah. Um, the way we, we behave and how we use our cell phones, uh, the data is gathered in the back end. Yeah. Uh, that data trans transpires in a way that it actually creates not just new products, but probably also information that's life-saving information. So when you talk about yes. data, look at data from a health uh, point of view, an agricultural point of view, a financial point of view, and a complete well-being of everything that we do. Yeah. So for, ex for example, more and more we're seeing uh, new banks emerging, digital banks as an yes. example. Uh, to enable those, you need data. The information that goes through that is data. Yeah. What's the value for a digital bank, for example? It creates accessibility. Mm -hmm. So you don't, and it's affo affordability. It, from a health point of view, what's the use of information and data? So data around 
patterns uh, and treatment patterns to, yeah. to, so to cure, for example, chronic yeah. illnesses. Yeah. That data saves it's lives. Critical. It's critical, it's good. So, so, so the, 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 the issue around data and how you manage data and where I support you is the ethics around how the information is collected, uh, the yeah. consent from an individual point of view, yeah. and then uh, the, the how the data is mined and how it's used to create products Absolutely. is important. And that's why even companies like myself or SMEs, and, and we're talking at the top end, but if you yeah. look all the way down, at an SME point of view, how yeah. you use data to even make decisions around profitability and how you manage your business. Yeah. That already enables you. It's a difference between understanding which customer to go for yeah. versus which customer not to go for. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I'm not anti-data. I'm just trying to poke and ask questions here yes. that we all see every day awesome. in our lives. And one of those, I'm just going to give it to you now. But I also wanted you to talk quickly about where you're going as a company in terms of that yes. data. So I don't know you, you. You have a mobile phone, yes? Yes. I do. I have a mobile phone. I don't know if you've noticed lately this um, system where you are reading or you are transacting banking or you're doing something on your phone and suddenly an advert flashes across your phone. And I don't know what person in the world thinks they are going to get me to buy a product that comes and interrupts my personal banking or that comes and interrupts my playing my scrabble when I don't want to be disturbed. But I'll challenge you and say to you that the it's same information like happened. flooding the data so, so, across so our So we're faces sitting on a television. Uh, if you look at, again, psychologically over time, the same thing as advertising. I'm at home relaxing, watching a show, really into it, and then you throw an ad uh, to me. And, and, I, and I, what the point you're making there is true. The data, the intrusion sometimes of the information is, is too much. But I think where the value lies is in understanding how to use the data. And for yeah. me, from a business point of what I urge business people working yeah. and listening out there is to yeah. say, actually that liquid gold is the difference between increasing your profitability or yeah. not. That liquid gold is the difference be between getting to the customer. It. But my, yeah, exactly. my director is going to kill me. I'm going to allow <laughs> you one minute to talk a little bit about where you guys are going because you have this acquisition that you yes. have made, but now where to now? So the, uh, uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, the access to data and information will be around building products for the SMEs. And more important, access to funding is critical. So if you think about it, for example, the acquisition for me was made possible by my partnership with APSA Bank. We talk yeah. about funding and women yeah. and access to funding. Yeah. Uh, data also allows you to. So get your business in order and you can get access to funding. Get your business in order with data, you can get access to customers. Absolutely.